melatonin users have 90% increased risk of heart failure and death. That's a huge number. But is melatonin really that dangerous? Let's find out. And is this fact or cap? Researchers followed over 130,000 patients over five years. They found that those taking melatonin had higher risk of heart disease and death compared to those who didn't. Here's what the headline didn't mention. The study only tracked prescription melatonin. That means patients taking supplement-based melatonin may have been counted as non-melatonin users. People who take melatonin often have more severe sleep issues, which are already linked to increased cardiovascular disease risk. So, does melatonin cause heart failure? The truth is, we don't know yet. We need more data to assess that relationship. But here's the deal. If you've been taking melatonin for years and still can't sleep, it might be time to look into this a little bit deeper. I'm pretty sure we've all heard the recommendations to reduce light exposure, screen time, caffeine before bed. If we've done all of those things and our problems still persist, maybe it's time to talk to our PCP or get a sleep medicine consult. I think what this study really highlights is how deeply sleep is connected to our overall health. While we need more data to determine if melatonin truly is a villain, we know one thing. Poor sleep definitely is. But this is also a wake-up call. Pun intended. Take your sleep habits seriously. So is melatonin causing heart failure? That's cap, at least for now. Stay skeptical of catchy headlines and go get some rest.